Good morning, everyone. It's Shay in Silver Lake, Oregon. Oh, Chevron's all bent over. I was making her be my, um, like, scarecrow. Oh, I make her. There. It was kind of chilly out, so I put her hood up. I don't want her hair to get all windy. Okay, so, 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 it's May 19th, which is Sunday. It's 41 degrees, so it's kind of windy. See, she's my, my scarecrow looking chick or whatever. I like to keep the birds out of there for a second because I had to go in and feel, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so a lot happened. Ooh, my fig tree did not like that last night. I brought the corn in. I should have brought the fig tree in. It's just that uh, my ear's a little rough. So my aunt had gone shopping and she found this. Such a cool bird cage. She found this cool bird cage. Eight bucks. I thought it was kind of spendy. I mean, it's kind of a good deal for a bird cage, but at the same time, I was like, eight bucks, that's spendy. Okay. But I wanted a pool noodle because I found these crutches in the garage and, oops, sorry. And I thought, I'm going to kick my puppy's butt for digging in a hole again. Okay, so I was thinking that I could take a pool noodle and I'm spray paint all this dark green. So just bear with me. And I could make an arch like see if I put the other pool noodle on there oh. okay see it's like an arch here let me stack it well this was not so much okay so just have some vision okay just a little bit of vision Bear with me with it. Okay. So then I don't bury the crutches in the ground, but I just put like those concrete like stake like things. I don't know what they're called. The concrete guys use them to make like foundations and stuff. They're like these sticky metal bar thingies. So get a couple of those and then you just attach it to the thing okay then spray paint i i picked a green pool noodle so that when i spray paint the whole thing dark green okay and then i was thinking it would just go on one of the side ones or i could spray paint the whole thing black but i thought dark green would be better you know and then it would just be like this little arch and I could either put it inside a flower bed and let stuff grow up and over it. But I don't have anything that's viney. But, I don't know. I just thought it would be super cute. I could hang lights from it. I mean, the crutches and everything, are, the kids just play with them. So I figured, you know, like, whatever. I don't know. I thought I'd try, try it out. And then I know you're, like, looking at this. My aunt freaked out. Okay, so... Bay June gave this to me. It's an old uh, uh, baby's changing table and bath. Okay, so hear me out on this. Okay, I got this for free. Okay, I'm going to take it all apart. Okay, so obviously the bottom, most 90, almost all of it is no good. Okay, we got that. But this bath part. How cool is this? So I was thinking what I do is take this piece, okay, and it's got the little hose or whatever, and I would build a frame over there, and then I could put my, when I'm, you know, get all my vegetables, when I'm harvesting them, I could bring them over. I'll have like a little side table that I can put them on, you know, spray, hose them off the major part of the dirt. Then lay them in here, and then I can go back and clean them better. 
like it's better works a better uh station and if i make it tall enough then there's no bending it would just be perfect and then it has a towel rack on the other end so i just thought i would just take all this metal part stuff off just everything and just build you know some two by fours to go on each side so it's tall and then maybe like a a drying rack underneath of it so that I could take the vegetables out and they could dry a little bit before I take them to my neighbors or in inside or whatever. So like, that's what I was thinking about that. This part, oh, oops, I don't want to move it because it's going to fall over. This part, I don't know. I haven't figured out what I could flip that into yet. So the bird cage is cool. Oh, it's kind of cold out here. 41 degrees. So the birdcage, I thought I would hang and put a pot in it. That would be cool. Like a lightweight pot. And then, what, what's going on out here? Oh, yeah, there's that. And then, oh, Serenity did not pick up the golf clubs. It was really windy yesterday, so I couldn't be outside at all. This is the changing table part piece. It must have blown over there. Put that away. So that was fun. Um, my ear's like a little better today. Uh, I'm not rubbing it as much. Like, try not to mess with it as much. But I didn't do outside stuff. Really, I stayed like either in the vehicle. Because we did go for a drive. We did go to Habitat for Humanity. Because that's what my aunt came here oh and then look i got these <laughs> those are cute they were at the dollar store so who knows how long they'll last i tried to, i had i got dog food and i tried to get concrete sealer but ooh, that took a hit too oh darn it maybe i should have covered it Ooh, that wind is biting today. It was super windy, I guess, yesterday. Um, I didn't pay attention. Look at that. I didn't really pay that much attention because I didn't come outside. <sighs> what the heck? What the heck is going on around here? Darn. Things got knocked over. And pushed around. Woo! A little bit cold, a little bit cold. Oh, anyway, I went to Habitat. All my friends over at Habitat. I love Habitat. I got that rope for $2 because I had to buy it. Oh, because... While I was at Habitat, I thought it was the exact same size, but I was wrong. My aunt was like, you're wrong. And I was like, no, I got... Because before, I bought these. I got seven pieces, and I fit them all in her car. See? There's like... Okay, well, then when I went there, there was just this one piece. And, like, this was a couple of years ago. Like, three years ago, I got these. And so then I saw this piece... And I was like, well, how much for that piece? It's got, it's bent right there. And they don't just easily bend back. Um, then I got no stakes to put it in, to stake it in. I'll have to, and they're too expensive. I don't buy those. I only buy these pieces when I see them at Habitat. Or like if I was like at a yard sale, I don't, I won't just purchase these pieces. I might put, this one like right up right there or actually either oh, it's so cold either right here Ugh. okay I have to stop messing with this and throw my back out doing that I don't know but I got this piece for $10, which I'm fine with because I got, oh, and 
when we went to the thrift store, she wanted to go to um, this one thrift store. So she went in there. I saw that, this piece. Okay, this is my mom's. And it hasn't been working very good for a couple years, but I refuse to give up on it. Because I thought I would never find another. And so then I saw this one for $3. And I bought it. And I thought it was exactly the same. And then I got it home. And I'm like, man, this thing's a monster compared to what my mom's was. So I can finally let this one go. Because I've replaced this. And I've tried everything I can to fix this. And it's just not... the whole thing is I've tried cleaning it out when I plug the hose in this thing blows off um two hoses over here don't work and two holes over here don't work it won't do that part anymore and I've oiled it and oiled it and oiled it it just won't um so it's time to let it go so I got this one for three dollars I was like no way I did go into the thrift store, and then um, I got this right here, and then my most favoriteest thing, my most favoriteest thing, my favoriteest, 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 is this. Do you see this big, huge spear-looking thing? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I got this and that green post. Look at this. I'm queen of the garden. Oh, that little thing is that thing. But I was walking around with this thing. And it's like this big spear looking thingy. I love this thing. And I got that in that green pole thingy. Um, that six foot pole thingy. For five dollars. Both of them. Five dollars. Like. So. That's going to go into the ground. More. But. This thing. This thing. I'm in love with it. I'm going to hang. I'm going to hang those lanterns on it. It's so cool. I'm so in love with this thing. It's my most favorite thing and I just loved it like right when I got it when I saw it I was like oh my gosh please let this thing be affordable <laughs> praise the Lord he knew I would be so in love with this so and you could put a plant right there I don't know oh and then it's got a hanging thing right there and then there's the hanging thing up there. Look at that. It's like eight feet, nine feet. I don't know how tall this. This is six foot, I think. Yeah, this even says six feet. And let's see. Let's see. Well, without my kooky hair, you know, I'm only five foot three. So if this is six foot, do some girl math. Boys, don't be mad. Gentlemen. Okay, so if that is six feet, see, I'm making it pretty even. Six feet. So, almost like eight feet. Because that, the tip part of right there is six. So I don't know, like seven, eight feet. I don't care, I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. <coughs> and then, oh, so I had to buy the rope because, um, and I had this thing in my mind that said buy rope before I even bought the rope. And I was like, I'm not going to buy rope. And um, what do I need rope for? And, because I've pretty much used all my rope. But I figured, what do I need rope for? And so I wasn't going to buy rope, so I walked past it, ignored it, and then I found the gate. We bought the gate, couldn't get the gate in the car. So then I was like, okay, I'll go buy the rope. Tied it on the roof of her car. It was really good. We did a good job. I was really grateful to Daniel and 
Rika Habitat and the girls in the building. Oh, yeah, and then this, okay. So I flipped out when I got this, right? Rick's like, oh, I can have both those for five bucks. I was like, <laughs> meltdown. Okay, so he walked off, and then I tried to unscrew these thingies. And then I realized that they went to these things that slide up and down. So that wasn't helping me because I needed to break it down. And so then I realized that right there, there's a screw. And so I was like, okay. So I just need a Phillips, which, okay, I'm such a dummy. But, but I learned something from a gentleman. And so then I looked around. There was this guy that was walking or, Round. I don't know. I thought he was a worker. And so I said, um, Oh my goodness, do you have a Phillips head screwdriver? And he's all, Yes, I do. And he reaches in his pocket and he pulled out this kind of remind me of a Swiss Army knife thingy, but it had like all these other tools to it. And he just like, you know, gets to the screwdriver part or whatever unscrews that real quick, pulls the screw out, puts the screw in my pocket, break in half. I'm like, thank you so much. And then Rick comes up and he's like, stop hassling the customers. And I'm like, oh no, he's just helping me unscrew this. And, he, and Rick's like, I'm talking about you, Shay. <laughs> and I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> the guy was a, he was a customer. But I learned something very valuable from him. Ooh, that didn't take it very good either. I learned, oh, look at the asparagus. That took a hit. Oh, man, I could have ate that one. But, man, it, it did get cold last night, but that's okay. You know, I mean, got to get through it. This stuff has got to be tough. And um, so I'm going to buy me one of those um, thingies that he had in his pocket. That has a screwdriver and it looked like it might have had like some kind of like pincher um, things on it. And I didn't see what all other tools it had, but he was very quick with knowing where his tool was and all that kind of stuff. And so I thought that was really cool. So I'm going to get me one of those. And, um, you know, and even though it's 41 degrees and it's really cold, like my hand is cold. Look, there is like just little specks of snow. May is a very cold month here, May, because I remember every year my daughter says the same thing to me. When's it going to get warm? And it's like she's always doing that about the week before her birthday and her birthday's June 4th. So, I know that she complains a lot. So, you know, we've just had a lot of really nice warm days. And a lot of stuff is doing great. There's just a few things that take, you know, a hit. And that happens. Like, I'm afraid this is not going to get... I need to see how much light this one gets back here. So, anyway, those were my um, big wins. My big scores. Which I was already super excited about the, I don't know what you call that, baby bath changing table, 19, what do you guys guess, 60s, 70s, looks like there's like animals, there's a dog, turtle, I think that's supposed to be a sheep, a cat, I don't know, like it's got these pocket type, Oop. I'm pulling it. Don't pull on it. So I'm just going to unscrew. See, if I had that little thing, I could have, that tool, I could have already unscrewed a big portion of this. It would have been a lot easier to load. It. This was in my car. It's been in my car for several days. I just didn't go out and get it my, because my ear. And so then when my aunt, she was like, well, I'll just go and load that thing that you have in the back of your car. And so she did, and she was like, this is disgusting. Like, she should have seen how disgusted she was. She was freaking out. And I'm like, oh, you have no vision, girl. No vision. Like, yeah, none of that stuff. Is, I mean, it's old. It served its purpose. It did what it was supposed to do. 
And but it would be nice if the whole thing didn't land in the dump. Like I can get a little bit more life out of it. And I think I could do something with this piece. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. You know, like as long as, you know, it it will go and it's got a hose and everything like where it just you can leak it out or do whatever. So I think that it's usable. And then this piece, I don't know, I'd like, because this is a piece of wood or cardboard or whatever, hardboard. That's not going to last long. But I would like to try to figure out, maybe if I could find a piece of plexiglass or something that I could glue into the frame into that to fill that hole then I wouldn't mind using this piece as a cover because that's what it's originally does is it's a cover that goes over the top of this so it would be cool if I could somehow I guess I could put plastic for now until I could figure out a piece that I could put in there and then keep it, then it could be a cover for that, you know. I do want it to be detachable, or actually it doesn't have to be. I do want it to be able to be movable, because I don't want to leave it out in the winter. I want to bring it and put it in the shed during the winter time. So, those were my big scores. This fencing that I have no idea which <laughs> I just love it. I could be all crazy and put it up there. I don't know. But I was all happy with just getting a pool noodle was what I was looking for. Because I did have a few, but my daughter used them all on some other weird project that she did for a neighbor. So that was out. And she didn't have any. And I couldn't think of what other type of arch thingy I could do and I'm just going to glue that the ends on to each end and then I was just going to buy a can of spray paint another can of green the same green as that and just spray paint the whole thing green or black but I wasn't planning on doing that for like until I know for sure that it works because I don't want to ruin a pair of crutches that I can give them away just because I thought this weird idea that I had was going to work. So first I'm going to make the arch fit in here somewhere. Oh, those peonies. It's so worth having peonies. I love them. Look how beautiful they get. They haven't even bloomed yet and they're gorgeous. So I was thinking the arch could be like right here. And it's only going to be like six feet tall, which is fine. It's like a foot taller than my head. My aunt loves the crutches idea. At first when I was telling her, she's like, ugh, trashy. And then um, after I got the pool noodle and I put it all together for her and stood there with it. And I said, okay, now imagine if it was dark green. And then it had like some hanging lights from it or something. She was all down for it after that. So I was like, yeah. And I imagined, I keep thinking that there's going to be another arch. So it works for me. And I could even, I don't think it's wide enough. I could... I could put it right here. Uh, I'm not really into it though. Or like I don't know. I could put it right here. Like down here because then it would be kind of a deterrent for deer to walk through that smaller space like that it would send them more towards my strawberries is that what i really want 
Or maybe I should put it right here. Because then it, it makes it a little bit more difficult for the strawberries and to walk through. But I want them away from my trains. The trains. But, you know, this year, I haven't noticed any tracks. So that's good. You know, like they're not that they're they're obviously found quite a bit of food to eat wherever they're eating it. So they're not scavenging. And my yard would be a lot of scavenging, although I thought, you know, like this, it, there was a lot of grass out there. Got some birds running around over there. So who knows? You know, they'll find my yard eventually or maybe they you know, get a routine going. Wow, even the irises are looping over. Look at that. <sighs> My hand is kind of frozen. Let me go look at Bruce's dog dish. Aren't these little steppy things cute? I mean, I'm totally in love with them right here. But unless... I dig them into the ground and make them level. Um, I don't like anything on my sidewalks because um, of my broom. I don't want any hangups. It's got to work. So unless those are like embedded into the ground, they can't stay there. They will have to move, which is fine. They would look good if I just poofed them around or whatever, but I just let Serenity put them there because, you know, whatever. She's still sleeping right now. She uh, stays at my house Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, and then goes home Sunday. She goes home that 15 feet. <laughs> like... She just likes hanging out at my house like all the time. So I let her, you know, she just likes making popcorn and hot chocolate. And I taught her how to make, you know, all kinds of stuff like tea, things like that. Because I have this little thing that you just put water in and you plug it into the wall and then it heats up water. And then that way she's not using... Anything other than, you know, and she just pours it in. Anything that she can pour into hot water into a cup or a bowl. Like that. Look at these. Echinaceas are doing fantastic. Oh, is there another pink bloom down there? There is. That's cute. Alrighty. I've wandered and chatted so much. I love that huge plant hanging thing. I feel like $5 for both of those. I did go to Buy Mart and I did try to buy um, a couple, you know, the package of six foot bamboos, but they didn't have anything. They all, It was all, everything was four feet. And then I saw this over at Habitat and I was like, well, here's one six foot post I'll take this one and then I saw the beast and I was just like no no and it was laying across all these patio tables so it wasn't even standing up like this it was laying down that number one big mistake any salesperson knows that something like this you it must be like sitting Oh, gosh. It is really heavy. It must be sitting out. Ah! You just feel so cool with this thing, I'm telling you. I am telling you! Like, look at that. I guess my funky hairdo could be my crown. <laughs> but, man, look at that. And I've got my robe that bulks me up. My robe, robe makes this is my bulkiest robe. <laughs> it's my warmest. 
It was actually my mom's robe. And she's a little bit bigger than me. Anyway, this thing is so cool. Look how tall this thing is. Like, I don't know. I With something like this, I could go with it being a centerpiece in the middle of a bed. Like, I'm envisioning it could be perfect, like, dead center right here. It is such a showpiece. Or, like, I have been looking for the ultimate showpiece for this bed, but I want nothing to block that. Oh, that was the other thing. Oh, man. Maybe I do a part two video. I might do a part two video because I found, I know, you're going to go crazy. I found another Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> this one was black, though, so I don't even have to paint it. And it was like five dollars and it's actually a jewelry holder i don't know exactly what this thing was but it has like all these hooks on it and it's like only that tall it's like so it's like a mini one and so serenity and i were like look nana we could use it as a golf you know like you go through the golf the golf hole so we're gonna use the other one for that we're like, yeah, that's cool. And I'm going to start finding some cool stuff that we can shoot our golf balls through. And then the hole would be underneath of it. So, yeah, that was cool. I found that. We're so using it. Okay, well, it's getting really cold. I have a cotton ball stuffed in my ears because I'm afraid of the wind. So, I'm going to go back inside and you know oh wait let's go look at these things let's see how hard are these tiny little things down here did they take a hit they got really big like uh, my hair oh there's a whole back row back there i didn't even see i was always looking at this front row and there's a whole row back there i missed it that's hilarious Lots of sunflowers popping up. You know? Anyway, so that's my gig. That's what I've been doing. Nothing much. Went for that drive with my aunt. Because she gets, like, stir-crazy out here. Like, she'll come, she likes to come and visit. But we have to go to town. To a town. Any town. So that she... Or at least drive there and drive back. So that she doesn't feel like she's so far away from civilization. It's absolutely ridiculous. Look how tall that thing's gotten. Alright. I'm going to wish you peace, love, and happiness. And wish you good vibes. And I hope you find something fantastic. Because the feeling is amazing. I love that plant hanger thingy. Like, love it. And I want you to find something that is awesome like that. That you are just like, when you see it, you just know that it's going to be like, you want it. And then the price is just mwah, unbelievable. I'm going to give a shout out to Habitat for Humanity. You guys all should go to your Habitat for Humanity. Not my Habitat for Humanity. But you should go to all your guys. Because <laughs> I need mine. Like, can't be overwhelming my, my people there. But you should all go to a Habitat for Humanity. And find something... For a really good prize, make a good connection with one of the sales people. And, um, you know, something this summer that you've always wanted to do for your, your yard or your house. Or your neighbor's house or your mom or your cousins or your best friend. You know, something like, you know, and you'll find something there that you can. This. 
is what I found. But you, too, will find something amazing or fix that cabinet or whatever. Oh, I did find a cupboard for, it was 35 but I got it for 25 And it's brand new, peeled the face off. I wish I could have bought the skinnier one that was right next to it, but I couldn't afford it. I had a but I have a very tight budget. And I was so overwhelmed with getting that big thing that I couldn't really focus anymore. I was just like, we have to go home. I need to lay down and like absorb. Because it was so cool. So cool. So cool. So cool. I love it. Alright, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for being my subs. You guys rock. All right, bye.